Hey guys, welcome to Sippin' and Sewin' with Finn from Three Mississippi. I just got back from being in town. I had to take Truvy, my truck, into the shop. She had a check engine light that flashed a few times and turned off, and she did that twice. And I thought, well, that's different. Usually it'll stay on at least for a little while, you know, but it didn't. So I thought, well, I'll take it in and see what the code reader says. And she was about due for an oil change, so I figured two burns, one stone. So <clears throat> apparently she had a cylinder that was maybe misfiring a bit, but he said it was probably just something like on it that made it cranky. So, so there was that. So it's fine. It's no big deal. Um, he said to let him know if it, if it happens again, <laughs> bring her back. I was like, okay. So it is a hot one today, guys. Um, I might even keep this one a little bit shorter because it is warm. It is hot. Uh, I just got back from town, so I haven't changed yet into my work clothes. I'm actually going to be uh, filming a little bit out with the animals uh, once the sun goes down a teensy bit more. Because uh, it's in kind of a weird, it's in that weird spot right now in the sky. And i uh, got to give the pups their vaccinations. I was supposed to have Bunko tonight, but it got canceled because uh, the gal who was hosting it, its kids are all sick. Which actually worked out well for everybody. Everybody was kind of like, okay, in a couple weeks we'll do it. Um, you know, it's one of those things. It's like we do it once a month, but then you, it's still, it's like, it's always, oh, today, it's today. Eh. So I had some other errands to run in town while I was there. And one of them was running by the post office. So we got a few, um, a few items in the mail that we'll be uh, probably opening during Wednesday's live. We'll have a little bit of a mail call that day. Um, I know what one of the things is for Mike. Um, he doesn't watch these. I could probably say it, but yeah, I could probably say it. I know that, uh, Miss Sheila sent him some onion starts and, uh, Mr. Larry sent a couple of things. I haven't opened it yet. I know one of them is a mandolin for me, not the kind you play, but the kind you, uh, can put like zucchini and vegetables through and, and, uh, get the, the big long planes of them, I guess. I don't know how, I have no good way to describe that, but that's what he said he was, he was sending. So I open those on, on Wednesday, but, uh, today I'm going to have Frankie help me film a little bit of giving the goats their CD&T, giving the pups their, uh, their next round of, uh, puppy shots, if you will. And, uh, then we are going to, uh, film a little bit of me milking Caroline. Uh, because I can't do it in the morning is when I milk her and I'm actually phasing her out of milk because she's been in milk for a really long time and I want to give her a break. So I've been kind of phasing her out and it is starting to dry up. So, uh, but I don't have anybody to help me film in the morning when I'm out here dealing with the animals. Mike isn't up and talkative yet. So, um, and Frankie's already gone for school. So, um, cause she leaves here at six 30. So, uh, it's just not a good, uh, not a good situation to try to get the camera in the right spot. I need somebody to like physically hold it and, and do it for me. So I'm gonna have Frank do that for me uh, this evening and I'll just milk her a little bit just so we can show you guys because I had a, a few people requesting some video of that. I don't know if I'm going to have enough milk out of her this week to uh, really make a batch of anything. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how it's looking by Friday. Hey Bonk, what's up handsome? I'm running over. Anyway, he's got to be got to be where Mama is. Um, so, uh, but I might make a, just a batch of ice cream. I know a bunch of people wanted cheese, um, but I don't know, man. This last batch of cheese was a struggle bus, and it's been so dang hot that uh, I feel like ice cream might be the way to go. You know what I mean? So, and it is really good. I do like some goat milk ice cream. It is very delicious. So, but, uh, guys, we didn't get it done. The other day I was telling you we were going to do the fencing behind the coop and we didn't get it done because, well, life happened. <laughs> and, uh, one of my friends, she's been kind of stressed out. Uh, she had a, a her husband's back was out, our, our friends, Beth and Ryan. I don't know if this is TMI. I don't know if they want this on the interweb, but here it is. So anyway, um, 
he couldn't snake the drain and it was coming up through the floor in the laundry room and uh beth kind of called mike in a panic like you know ryan's backs out and i do you have a snake because i don't have a snake and i need to snake this drain and da, da, da. and he's like all right hold on let me go find my snake and anyway so we went we had to go pick up frankie from youth went back to their place and you know she and i worked on uh, shop backing the laundry room and getting that cleaned up and uh, the guys were outside by the big drain trying to clear it and they got it cleared and we got the water we got the water to recede um, so it was a successful mission if you will Just making sure I'm not standing in an anthill because uh, that would be bad uh, but that meant that yesterday evening after it had cooled down uh, we couldn't work on the fencing however it was actually kind of okay uh, I mean, not okay that their house was flooding, <laughs> but that their their drain was logged. That part was not okay for them. Um, they were not fans, but it was okay that we ended up not being able to go outside and work on the fencing because we had another, you know, what they say in Mississippi, you don't like the weather, wait five minutes, and a thunderstorm rolled through and dumped a bucket of water. Just, you know, so it would have been a little bit of a struggle bus trying to get electric fencing up in a thunderstorm. I feel like that wouldn't have been the best time to do it. Uh, so we had to hold off on that a little bit, which is okay. Um, like I said, Mike did get that path mode, but, and I don't know, tonight we're dealing with some garden stuff. Um, he's making, uh, and I can't remember who it was now that sent us the recipe for the relish, um, for the cucumber relish. I want to say perhaps her name was Marie. I'm so sorry that I can't remember it right now because he, he hadn't made it yet. He had me get all the ingredients for it weeks ago and then uh, other things were happening and the pickles were really popular this one kind of pickle he was making so he was making a bunch of those and uh, now he's kind of got a surplus uh, because as far as I know I think the farmers market's over now I guess we'll find out for sure in a couple days but I think that that's the consensus is that it's kind of come to a close which I'm cool with um, it's just it's too hot people aren't coming by um, and it's, it's just, you know, it's, people don't go outside when it's too hot in Mississippi. Um, which is funny because in California, we do the opposite. When it's too hot, we go outside because nobody has air conditioning and it's cooler outside than it is inside. So it's a weird, uh, backwards thing here. Um, I shouldn't say nobody has air conditioning in California. There are people that have air conditioning in California. However, nine times out of 10, you can't afford to run it because it costs too much to run it. Um, people who have like a normal size house, if they were to run their AC as often as they wanted at the temp they wanted, their electric bill would be like, you know, between 500 and a thousand dollars, depending on what else they were running to. So out here, it's very different. We can run our air conditioner 24 seven and run everything else, have the freezers hooked up, whatever, and our bill is still only going to be a couple hundred dollars. Um, so very different <laughs> as far as that goes. Um, but, you know, some things are more expensive and some things are the same. And it just depends. You know, everything's give or take, right? But I do, uh, I do like, I, I'm spoiled by the AC now. I've never had that before. I'm pointing at it like you guys can see it, like the AC units back there. Um, and it's just... I've never had, I mean, we had AC at our first house that we owned that worked part of the time. We actually ended up having it replaced, which was expensive. Um, but we didn't run it very often because it was so expensive to run it. And we, you know, we didn't have a lot of money and it was, it was money we didn't have to, to run it. Um, and we never ran the heater in the house because it was just, we would just bundle up because it was just too expensive to run it. So you know, things like that, that is just kind of very different, you know? And so as a result, when it was hot outside, we, you would go to the movies because it was cheaper, you know, or you'd go to the indoor mall because it was air conditioned um, until it got so expensive that even the indoor malls started shutting off the air conditioning or turning it to like 80 or something stupid like that. So it was still hot inside the mall. Um, so people stopped doing that. So it was actually, it was cooler to go outside and sit somewhere in the shade than it would be to, you know, stay in the house. You know, there were times the house would be, you know, 90 something degrees, but outside it was maybe only 80. 
or 85 you know so it was and you, at least you know, get the breeze um so short of sitting right in front of a fan you know but anyway i just always think it's funny that you know there it's it's a very different perspective on the heat out here um to me it's like yeah it's hot uh but it's it's it doesn't i don't know it doesn't it's not like crazy hot i think i'm used to the humidity now i don't notice it really um as much i think even my hair has gotten used to the humidity because it hasn't been acting weird even on really humid days the only thing i can tell you guys is why i know when it's humid <laughs> is when i'm wearing my glasses and i like get out of the air-conditioned house and walk outside or i get out of the air-conditioned truck and walk outside and immediately my glasses fog up and i'm like ah hold on guys i gotta i gotta get my glasses to defog you know I'm sure there's some kind of, I know there is a spray that you can put like a coating to help with that, but whatever. It don't, I mean, it doesn't last long and it's not like I'm hopping out of the car to, you know, street fight anybody that I need to be able to see right away. Although maybe I just jinxed myself. I don't generally do a lot of street fighting, uh, but you know, sometimes on a random Tuesday, maybe you need to. I don't know. But... <laughs> But yeah, so we didn't get that fencing done yet. So I'm not sure. And it is supposed to be cooler tomorrow evening. So I think the plan is going to be, especially since they weren't planning on me being home tonight. Um, I think the plan is going to be tomorrow evening to go ahead and work on some of that fence line uh, out towards the pasture for the birds to be able to go out during the day. And then, you know, again, the next big thing is finishing that back line of of fence for uh for the horse and being able to get frankie or horse out here so uh you know it is it's it's everything's a everything's a project and all all the other things in your life still have to happen when you're still trying to get some of these projects done and it makes it a little challenging you know mike still has to work and i still have to run around and do all the household errands and get the kid from here to there and get the things that you know he need like I went to three different stores today because there was one thing that he wanted so I went to three different stores to find it for him like I, I'm not I'm the gopher I'm that person you know so uh taking care of all that stuff and and just you know the things that that only you can do you can't like you know pass them off to anybody else um that you just kind of have to take care of yourself as far as you know paying your bills and doing your you know i'm trying to find us some different insurance and all this stuff and just silly stuff like that that you got to you know kind of take care of and so and then not to mention you know making sure that i'm still filming and editing and, and putting out videos in between and trying to have some semblance of um downtime family time in between all that um is important too which some some weeks it doesn't happen as much as we would like um just because you know frankie's a teenager now she's got her own little schedule and um you know it, it is what it is sometimes when we're working on a project that is the family time that's that's the time we're together and usually you guys don't always realize i'm there because i'm behind the camera but in between when we're filming I, we're joking around we're talking whatever but it's not pertinent to what we're doing at the time so i don't usually use a lot of that sometimes i do but um but you know you guys think think i'm not there but i'm there and we're having family time believe it or not in between all of that but it's hard to show everything to you know um is what it is but yeah you know uh tomorrow's supposed to be cooler we're keeping our fingers crossed for that that we can work on the fencing when it's a little bit cooler tomorrow evening, hopefully. Um, but, uh, you know, when your friends fall and they need help too, you gotta, you gotta go help, right? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta help if you can. If it's something, I mean, if she had called me and asked me like, Hey, I need my appendix out. I would've been like, I'm not your girl for that. Like I've never taken out an appendix. I don't recommend it. Uh, but I'll drive you to the hospital. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but the snake in the drain might could handle that. So it was, it was all good. Um, you got to help out when you can, right? When you're able to. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, I hope it's not as miserably hot where you are, but I'm sure it is because it's summer and, uh, can't imagine a lot of places that are at least in the U S right now that aren't at least a bit warm. Um, 
but still I wouldn't trade it for anything. I mean, you can see where Mike stopped mowing when he got the phone call that the drain was clogged yesterday before the rain hit. <laughs> Mid mow. So there's like this weird little triangle right here <laughs> where he stopped mowing and we had to hop in the truck and go get Frankie and then go to their house. It was kind of funny. So we've got this lovely little patch right here. I know it's like a weird little, for the alien, it's the crop circle for the aliens, right? Because now we know those are real, according to the government. I don't know. We live in a crazy upside down world. And that's all I have to say about that. But anyway, guys, uh, on a better, happier note, I hope that you're having a blessed week. And as always, safety's off. Avoid aliens at all costs.